Stuart Shamima Begum, who chose to leave Britain and support a terrorist organisation, receive legal aid to enable her to come back. Well, to discuss that further, joining me now is Julian Norman, a specialist immigration lawyer at Drystone Chambers. Good evening to you. So Good given evening. what we know about Shamima, do you think she should get legal aid? I do, yes. And why do you think she should? Because the state is very powerful. When you have a dispute, a legal dispute, between the state and an individual, it is important that the individual is able to challenge that decision and go to court and uh, get a just outcome, that they are able to get access to justice as against the state. The state has the power to do all sorts of things, not just take away your citizenship. Uh, they can do, they can shut down your industry, they can make you jobless, homeless, um, all sorts of things. So where the state, which has, of course, lots of money, good lawyers, if they make a decision which has far-reaching implications for you, the individual, then the individual must be able to challenge that. I suppose it's also important to remember here that legal aid is, I guess, a principle or a basic principle mm. of the justice system itself. I mean, just how important is that? It's hugely important. I don't think you can underestra uh, underestimate that. Um, Access to justice, the right to a fair trial. The right to a fair trial is one of the three absolute rights of the Human Rights Act. Um, it cannot be overstated. You can understand, though, why people get a little bit upset. Reports that she was stitching suicide vests to people she knew that would consequently go on to die. You can understand why people get upset here. Of course, yes, absolutely. And, you, you know, you look at... This is a, you know, the question that barristers get in the back of taxis. Uh, how can you take a case and how should it be funded if the person involved is unsympathetic? And the answer to that is partly that everybody has the right to uh, access to justice, to a fair trial. Um, you've also got the issue that although people may be unsympathetic, you cannot administer legal aid based on who is a nice person and who has a sympathetic cause. Because if you do that, what you end up with is not access to justice freely uh, and impartially. You have Lady Justice taking off her blindfold and what you end up with is uh, a Game of Thrones-style patronage system.